Hi guys, Adam from AT Performance. It's just gone quarter past 11. I uh, actually started my day at about 5.30 a.m. this morning. And uh, because I had a couple of days off last week, I've just caught up on emails and messaging people and picking up stock and, and things like that and just actually starting work now. It's amazing how much time behind the scenes can take up uh, before you even get to, to start making a catch can. So I've actually um, got my camera tied up to a charger at the moment. So we're going to take the whole tripod with us. So I'm actually just about to start welding some R32 catch cans. So I've just finished just finished prepping them. I'm about to weld the bodies and then I'm going to go ahead and make uh, the baffles and filters. Uh, so let's get set up and, and start welding up these catch can bodies. So I just thought I'd show you guys this tungsten in here and you see how it's purple on one side and um, silver on the other and that's sort of indicating that on the post flow last time I stopped welding uh, that there wasn't enough gas, there wasn't enough shielding gas before the tungsten cooled down. Uh, so I'm gonna I'm gonna bet that it's a, a crushed collet inside the collet body. Um, but let's investigate him and see what's going on. Uh, through this section where my thumbnail is, there's a bit of deformity in the collet. Uh, maybe enough to sort of pinch off the gas. It doesn't appear to be any other obstructions or anything else wrong. Uh, so I'll put a new tungsten in and a new pilot and we'll just keep an eye on that. These parts here I actually prepped on Wednesday last week, it's Monday now. Uh, and I've noticed that, um, if you can see that, but there's, there's quite a lot of dirt on them uh, just from sitting around I, I imagine. So I'm just going to go through and down with a paper towel and uh, some isopropyl. I had wiped these down uh, last Wednesday uh, when I cleaned them all. I don't actually have an explanation on why they're this dirty but they are and we need to clean them. So now I'm going to fold up the bottoms here and then uh, go ahead and, and tack the cans together. Tacked up, baffles fitted, filter cages fitted, uh, ready for me to weld out entirely tomorrow. Uh, so this morning we're back into it. Uh, so here I'm finalizing some uh, engraves on some filter covers. I've just finished a, a few of them here. I'm just setting them up. Uh, for an Instagram shot and I'm about to start welding on these R32 catch cans uh, that we were working on yesterday but I did just realize that I haven't turned my fan on yet so that's maybe why I'm feeling a bit hot and bothered so just sharpened all my tungstens uh, ready to get going with this welding I am uh, still persisting with the Trimix tungstens and uh, I'm starting to get good results. I uh, haven't switched back to 2% uh, lanthanated just yet. Now I'm going to weld this catch can. Obviously this is the top of the can. Uh, I'm going to actually be starting from this corner and working my way around the can. So my start stop is in the back corner and there will actually be a fitting that'll go on here and, and ultimately cover that start stop. 
Uh, things we have to be aware of is the thin material around this filter basket and uh, some fitment issues uh, that we have with these double folds uh, with this rolled edge on, on these products. Um, so let's get set up and uh, start plowing through this welding. And today I'm going to listen to an uh, interview with Wayne Dyer. I like to feed my brain while I'm, while I'm welding as well. And uh, look at that, it's 11.11. Fantastic. So I've just decided that I want to move this cable prop out the way. Um, I'm finding it catching on my hand prop. So I'm just going to move that and um, see if it makes my welding life a bit easier. It's really hot today. So hot. Every time, eh? So just finished welding up the bodies of these R32 tanks. Going to go ahead and fit the brackets and the fittings that go on the rear. Uh, and then these are done so they will get uh, acid dipped and then sent off to powder coat. So just finished the three R32 catch cans. <laughs> My camera is on slow mode. Two of these are going to get powder coated and one of these is going to remain raw. Um, I'll tell you right now, this one is going to get powder coated this one is going to get powder coated, this one will remain raw and I'll say that because I am unhappy with the world here uh, and I'm unhappy with the world here uh, and this one has actually been welded really nicely um, and all that is is I'm human and uh, many many movements uh, within a weld uh, every every one of these is is two hand one foot moving and I'm not a robot but uh, overall these all look fantastic powder coated uh, I'm not ashamed of them at all they are fantastic so I look like I've just spent two hours welding which <laughs> is pretty accurate um, I'm gonna drop the I'm gonna drop those two catch cans in the acid and get them ready for powder coat I have to do a little bit of packaging for a couple of sales that have gone through uh, but that's gonna wrap it up for me today thank you guys so much for spending this time with me I truly truly appreciate it and I'll see you guys in the next one <laughs>